Okay, before I begin, I want to say that waking up at 4.30 in the morning is not a normal thing to do. It's not necessarily healthy and I wouldn't recommend it to a friend. The only time that I did this consistently was when I was heartbroken and confused and flying on a strange high, trying to discover myself and my limits in lieu of my college applications. I am so, so, so lame. But I did learn how to do it. Why might you want to do this? Perhaps you want to increase your productivity levels or you have a pressing deadline coming up or you're just a tad bit mad. Welcome, you're in the right place. What benefit do you receive from an early rise? The earlier you wake up, the generally more motivated you are to get stuff done. And thus, with more quiet time, with more motivation, and more creative outpour from the morning stillness, you might just increase your productivity level. Now obviously, the first thing is to go to bed earlier. If you go down at 9, then that gives you 7.5 hours of sleep, which is decent and what I did. Sleep is important. You're not special if you refuse it, you're just tired. Next, have a reason to get up in the morning. You need to hear that alarm and want to get out of bed. What I did was I'd go to sleep hungry and I would wake up starving and thus I'd want to get out of bed to rid the hunger. Again, disclaimer, I don't actually know why I'm making this video. This is probably not healthy. Don't do it unless you're really, really desperate, okay? God, I should just stop filming right now. Nah, I've gotten this far, might as well continue. Okay, anyway. <laughs> You might have some other reason that you might want to get up in the morning. Maybe the sunrise, a morning walk, meditation, Snapchat, a gumball. I don't really know you, so you're going to have to figure this one on your own. Next, don't exercise too late in the day. Don't take naps longer than an hour. For this may keep you up at night and discourage you from actually getting up at 4.30 in the morning. Go to bed at the same time every night. Make sure you set an alarm and get up the first time you hear it. No excuses, guys. An hour before your bedtime, relax. Listen to music, cuddle with the one you love, tell stories or jokes, read, draw, stay away from electronics, do some yoga, take a bath, whatever soothes your soul. Set an alarm an hour before bedtime if you need to. Keep the morning coffee up, but the evening coffee low. Meditate in the mornings at least for 10 minutes. Drink herbal teas throughout the day. Eat to feel well and stay hydrated, all for a sharp mind. Now in order to actually achieve an increase in productivity, you have to work on productive projects or assignments. So thus, make sure you have your mornings somewhat planned out. If you spend your entire mornings on Snapchat, then what benefit do you receive from an early rise? Me! Guys, follow me on Snapchat, you are missing out, I promise you. If you want to be seriously productive and organized, write out an action plan. Plan every minute of your day. Plan when you work, when you eat, when you take breaks, when you exercise. You won't waste time because your schedule won't permit it. But of course, don't overdo yourself. Productivity must be balanced. And sometimes a break or two just might be the best way to boost creativity and help you think of the perfect solution or idea that you've been looking for. Best of luck to you guys. But remember, there is so much more to life than your work. Whatever you do, make sure you enjoy this one short life that you have. Because at the end of the day, at the end of it all, the only thing that really matters is how much you've enjoyed your life, how much fun you've had, how many adventures you went on, how many friends you've made, how many wicked cool things you did and you learned, and how you just wouldn't change a thing.